Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to ESC United. Um, I am here with another one of our Eurovision 2021 artists. I'm here with Dari Freire and Gagne Magnid. Hello. How are you doing hello. today? <laughs> Very good. Good. And how has the Eurovision experience been for you so far? It's been uh, nice. Like, it's been different, I think, to most other uh, Eurovision experiences, but um, it's fun. Good. Good. Yeah. And I know that especially this year, it is um, a little bit different. And I feel like every delegation is kind of doing their own thing. You know, I know um, some delegations are doing a lot of rehearsals there in the hotels. Some are just kind of hanging out and enjoying the, the moment. What does like between rehearsal time look for you all? It's very chill. <laughs> We had had some like we we run through the the act like a, a few times, but we're we're ready basically. So okay, so we're just yeah having a, having a good time. All right, and I think uh, one thing that I'm the most curious about is you know last year with Think About Things, your song like erupted overnight. You became a viral sensation and everything like that. Did you expect that that song was going to be so so successful? No, not at all. I didn't expect <laughs> that to happen. Like even if we would have gone to Eurovision and if we would have won the competition, I didn't. I wouldn't have expected it to go as far as it went. Okay. And do you feel like that that song has kind of, kind of changed your career overall as well? Like it's it's night and day. Night and day. For sure. Like I I did all of my. I I was working as a full-time musician before the song, but now I can work outside of Iceland as well, which is new. Yeah. And, and for, for the other members of Gagne Magnid, uh, as, some, as some of you I know are not necessarily musicians in your full-time day jobs, um, what has it been like being cast into the international spotlight overnight? Uh, it's it's so strange because uh, as you uh, said uh, we are not like uh, basically part of this business so like having this chance is, is just a, a wonderful opportunity yeah and some of us have uh, gotten to include our other things into this like you with yeah. the video game and for me making the uh, jewelry for the band Oh. Yeah, it's been very surreal and such a it's such a good opportunity for me like to with the video game to like do some creative stuff that I want to do and have a platform to like explore that. Awesome. Well, and speaking specifically about the video game, um, I did download it last week and I was playing through it and it's very well done. So congratulations on that. Um, some of the the music I know is inspired by kind of redos of some of the old, other songs from Song by Kepman and things like that. Is there ever going to be a moment where we get like an album version of the music from the video game? Um, yeah, I can confirm that uh, we are go, try, uh, trying to uh, push an update on the video game where, where if you finish the game with three stars at every level, then you can download the music. It will be like a reward for... Mm. It is in the so it will it will only be available for download for the people that finish the game 100 percent and it will never be anywhere else <laughs> well there you go there is some uh some motivation there for some people listening if you want to get those tracks finish the game put in that time <laughs> well uh specifically for you dotty um uh, I know that you have really made advantage of this pre-recording backing vocals rule this year uh, by putting together that that choir, the Eurovision choir this year. How many people are in this choir? Just approximately. You don't have to know the direct the direct answer. But how long did it take to get like put that together? Um, I hired uh, a guy to put it together because <laughs> I saw like very early on that I was not going to be able to have time. To do that i can't remember the exact number it was like between 40 and 50 hours i think that it took him to just line everything up wow yeah he said you, know, you, you shared with us a video where you finished it where he was like <sighs> okay <it's finished>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he, he showed us the, the finished uh, version and then the camera panned to appear 
<laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I hope that you have paid him well because it sounds really, really great. Um, and I know that the Eurovision community was very, very excited, uh, myself included. I'm actually in uh, the submission oh, pool okay. in there. Um, so I was very excited to be a part. It's my my one claim to fame is that I was part of a Eurovision song. <laughs> yeah, I was um, really, even when we were putting it together, I wasn't like the rules about the um, backing vo vocals weren't that clear to me. So we were we were uh, yeah, I'm super happy that it actually got to be in the final version. So if, if you sent us your vocal, uh, you are um, are 180 ish million people are going to hear you sing. All right. Well, I cannot wait to hear myself on the Eurovision stage. Uh, <laughs> I, had, I had an issue with uh, your rehearsal. It was actually stuck in the buffering. So I actually never got to watch your rehearsal despite being online press. Uh, so I, this is going to be one of those things where like, I watch it live and I'm like, oh, oh hey. Um, one of the things that I'm kind of curious about you all are known for a very specific type of branding. Uh, we're, we're seeing it here in, in this interview, you know, your kind of 8-bit style with, with your faces and everything. So how did that branding kind of come about? And how many versions of your face do you own in your closet? Um, it came from the, from the uh, instruments in 2017, because you're not allowed to play instruments in Eurovision, it all has to be on, on the backing track. Um, so from there, we, we made the computer instruments and then we got the computer aesthetic, which led to the pixelated faces. The, the color is, um, we wanted to have a color that nobody really uses too much, so we could like have, have it our own. And there are four different versions uh, four different outfits is there's this one there's the one we have on stage here there's the one we had on stage last year and then there's the the outfit from the video. music video which uh, Lois the thomas made mm -hmm. for us but she also made makes our stage outfits now and then i i have this cup <laughs> uh, the, the, you have socks. My suitcase. You're this I one, have right? two different versions of socks. Have the socks my oh, uh, okay. I a, yeah, I think that's. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Suitcase with her face. Suitcase. Oh yeah, and there's another. The black sweaters as well. The the hoodies as well. Yeah. Those yeah, are true. Some, so. Gotcha. I have uh, two video games with my face. Kind of three video games. Yeah. With my face. There you go. All right. I was just mm -hmm. curious because you see your face like all over. Uh... Oh, yeah, the cars also. There's two cars and there's a bus in Iceland. Actually, yes. two buses. <laughs> I saw the buses. They look, the, those wraps on the buses look really, really, really good. Two, two like small smart cars in, in Rotterdam. <laughs> awesome. Uh, they're here. Awesome. Well, we'll kind of wrap up here because uh, I know that you are all on a very busy schedule today. Uh, but one thing I've been asking all of our artists here is if you could swap your song 10 years, which I know is very special to you, but if you could swap it with another song from the Eurovision 2021 roster, what song would you pick and why? Is, is this, um, can, can I say that I don't, I wouldn't? <laughs> that, if that's what you want to go with, then, then certainly. If I could swap with one other song, I would still not do it. Okay. All right. There you go. I had to. I think uh, I would go with uh, John's Tears because. Uh, you, uh, you could sing that. I don't know. <laughs> <If> I, could, <laughs> no, I, could, I, I mean, I could, I could sing it, but I couldn't sing it as well as him. No, true. Okay. Just something fun. Something that's a little bit more of a challenge for you then. <laughs> All righty. But uh, then I would have to uh, learn. Ukrainian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, which is a bit of a challenge. Well, alrighty. Well, I, like I said, I know that you are all busy, so I will let you get on with your day. Again, thank you so much for joining me uh, and, and giving me the opportunity to talk to you. Uh, it means a lot. I'm a big fan, big fan here. Uh, but have a great rest of your time there in Eurovision. I cannot wait to see you in the semifinals and watch you perform and can't wait to see what you do after Eurovision as well.
Awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You're welcome. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.